السلام عليكم I am Anissa Al-Shamsi I am a clinical nurse specialist in pediatric oncology in SQH Today I'm going to talk about CVC dressing and flushing Central venous catheter is a catheter placed into the large vein such as internal jugular vein, external jugular vein, subclavian vein, and femoral vein It's used to administer medication or fluids, obtain blood samples, and invasive monitoring of central venous pressure we have two types of CVC used in SQH, two lumens and three lumens. Before we start our procedure, we have to prepare our equipment. Clean trolley containing, sterile dressing pack, sterile paper drape, 2% chlorohexidine swab stick, transparent maple dressing, tegaderm dressing with chlorhexidine gluconate, sterile gloves, 5 ml sterile syringes, 10 ml sterile syringes, 10 ml normal saline, 0.9% ampules, 5 ml heparin, saline ampule, needleless catheter hub, kidney tray, and hand rub. First, we have to identify the patient, then explain the procedure to the patient and family, provide privacy for the patient, perform hand hygiene, clean the working surface area with the disinfectant wipes, open the dressing pack aseptically, Open all items needed and drop into the sterile field. Place patient in supine position with head turned away from the CVC line. Hand rub with chlorohexidine. Wear mask and sterile gloves. Remove the old dressing gently, touching only the tape. Secure the catheter well. Discard the dressing into the prepared yellow plastic bag. Inspect insertion site for sign of infection, leakage, or other mechanical problem, and the surrounding skin for any signs of redness, skin rashes, and irritation. Check level of the catheter to check the catheter is in the original position. Cover catheter site with the sterile gauze. Remove gloves. Repeat hand hygiene. Wear sterile gloves. Clean the wound with 2% chlorohexidine working from the inside to the outside of the area and dealing with the cleanest part of the wounds first. Apply the appropriate dressing to prevent infection. Know the suitable type of dressing to be used. Maple and transparent dressing to be changed after 72 hours. Tegadan dressing with chlorohexidine gluconate to change after 7 days. Remove gloves, repeat hand hygiene, Keep saline and heparinized saline in separate syringes. Clean the CVC lumen with 2% chlorhexidine. Separate the sterile drape on the patient chest longitudinally and place the catheter lumen into the drape. Clump the catheter. Remove used sterile gloves. Switch off IV infusion pump. Wash hand and apply new sterile gloves. Disconnect the old needles catheter hub if there is any blood. Clean the lumen port with 2% chlorohexidine in 70% alcohol three times. Connect new needleless uh, catheter hub. Open clump, flush with saline followed by heparinized saline using push pause technique to maintain a patent catheter for intermittent use and prevent rupture of the catheter. Label the dressing with the date of dressing change to ensure dressing will be changed at the appropriate date. Discard supplies as per waste disposal policy. Perform hand hygiene after the procedure. Document the procedure performed in the EPR. Before ending this video, I would like to emphasize the following points. Aseptic technique must be observed at all times during the procedure. 10 ml syringe must be used for flushing CVC to avoid rupture. Flushing must be done with the sash method with push pause technique. When about 0.5 ml of the saline left in the syringe, clump the lumen to create positive pressure and to prevent backflow of the blood. Here is the end of my educational video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching.